Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Dominic Brazil. This is a direct quote from Dominic Brazil. I'm next in line for Deontay Wilder and I'm coming for him. I've been waiting for him and I did what I had to do. Tonight, I'm ready for him now. I know Wilder is in the crowd. Uh, he came to watch. He knows I'm next. He better be holding on to that belt really tightly because I'm coming. Trouble is already here. Now, this was after his most recent victory. And Dominic Brazil keeps stating that he knows he's next. He knows he's going to get the fight next. And the fact that Deontay Wilder showed up to that fight was a bit puzzling to me because I start thinking about the whole thing. And if you really break down the situation, you've already heard that Tyson Fury's camp and trainer come out and basically state that, hey, you know, Tyson Fury was looking for another, you know, another fight before he jumps into it with Wilder again in a rematch. And Tyson Fury's trainer has already stated that Deontay Wilder should end up fighting Anthony Joshua next and the winner fight him. These are things coming from Tyson Fury's camp. Th these are things that's coming from his camp. And so it looks like Fury wants an interim fight. So that means if Fury takes an interim fight, what happens with Deontay Wilder? Does he take the AJ fight? He seems 100% reluctant to take any Anthony Joshua fight. Any. He's not willing to seriously engage with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua keeps calling him out. He's not answering back. He's quiet as a church mouse. And there's a reason for that because the Tyson Fury fight woke Deontay Wilder up to the realities of the heavyweight division. It woke Deontay Wilder up to the realities that he's not the best and his limited boxing ability is going to cost him at some point. It's only a matter of time. Deontay Wilder understands that he has a big right hand. He has an elite level punch, but he is a one trick pony. And on any given night against any level of fighter, he could be beat. Even against a Dominic Brazil, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, oh, he would have no chance. Dominic Brazil always has a chance. Whenever a guy can't box and they're a one trick pony, if you can ever make an adjustment, you can win that fight. And, you know, it's typically those are the type of fights that expose fighters the most. You know, you, if you look at the Charlo brothers about these guys being exposed as one dimensional type of fighters, guys going after trying to headhunt, you, you would see the same thing with Deontay Wilder, except he's a much worse boxer than everybody. And so he's been outboxed by lower level competition. I mean, he's been outboxed by Gerald Washington. Who is Gerald Washington? That's, that's what I'm saying. He, he's being outboxed by guys that you shouldn't be outboxed by. That lets you know his level of opposition. And all the fanboys say, yeah, but he knocked him out, though. That means nothing. Because against Tyson Fury, what happens when you can't knock him out? What happens against an Anthony Joshua when he rushes you in the first six rounds? You can't make a boxing adjustment and you get knocked spark out. What then? So let's let's be honest and unbiased about the situation and what's going on here. Deontay Wilder, if Tyson Fury takes an interim fight, Deontay Wilder is looking like he doesn't want to fight Anthony Joshua. That's pretty much everything that's coming out. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn has already stated that they're looking at dealing in white necks because based on the way the negotiations are going with Deontay Wilder's team, they do not appear to want the fight. So that means Anthony Joshua will probably have to fight Dillian White because Deontay Wilder is going to refuse the fight yet again. Tyson Fury may take an interim fight. And so then that means there's only one option left for Deontay Wilder. He would choose to take a Dominic Brazil fight over potentially being undisputed against Anthony Joshua. And we already know the writing on the wall and what the fanboys are going to say. And so just remember, you heard it here first. If Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight doesn't happen next, I would love for that fight to, to happen if the Anthony Joshua fight doesn't happen. I would prefer that, you know, Deontay Wilder faces Anthony Joshua for Undisputed right now. That's that's my wish. I think that that would be the best fight. That would be the biggest fight in the heavyweight division. That's the fight everyone literally wants to see. But if that fight does not happen, fine. Give us the Tyson Fury fight. If Tyson Fury is looking for an interim opponent and Deontay Wilder knows it, then why would Tyson Fury be turning down an Anthony Joshua fight? Why would he do that? And it's abundantly clear why he would do that is because Deontay Wilder does not want to risk losing to Anthony Joshua and looking bad. And you have all these fanboys are out here clamoring. See, see what's going to happen is Anthony Joshua is continuing trying to get Deontay Wilder to secure the fight. And if 
Deontay Wilder knows that Tyson Fury is going to fight someone else, this is what Deontay Wilder is going to do. He's going to act like he's negotiating with Anthony Joshua. Then he's going to wait. He's going to make it to the point where it pushes past deadlines, refuse to fight Anthony Joshua, make it extremely difficult. And once Anthony Joshua signs for the fight against Dillian White, because they are on time constraints, then Deontay Wilder is going to come out and say he's fighting Dominic Brazil because Tyson Fury needs an interim and Anthony Joshua didn't want the fight. He's going to try to pin this back on Anthony Joshua. He's going to try to push this off and try to justify taking a Dominic Brazil fight. I honestly, truly believe that. I honestly, truly believe that the writing's on the wall that he wants to fight Dominic Brazil next. He does not want to fight Anthony Joshua. And to some degree, he may not even want to fight Tyson Fury next. He may want an interim fight. But, you know, let, let's be honest and unbiased. We already know the fanboys are going to try to make this into something that it's not. It appears that Deontay Wilder may take a Dominic Brazil fight next if Tyson Fury takes an interim fight because he doesn't want to fight for Undisputed. He doesn't want to be one face, one name, one champion. That's not what he wants, because if that's what he wants, then he would fight Anthony Joshua. You know, you hear a lot of people say, well, Tyson Fury said, you know, look how easy it was for us to negotiate with Deontay Wilder. The deal was done quickly. Uh, well, you know, as much as I respect Tyson Fury, that's completely false. Look how long it was that fight took to be announced officially after these guys supposedly had reached a deal. I believe it was over a month. So let's be honest and unbiased about that. Let's be honest and unbiased. The fact that a Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight would would be much easier to negotiate than an Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight. And the reason why I say that is you're fighting a unified world champion in Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury legitimately has no belts. Huh? Deontay Wilder has one belt and he's trying to fight a guy coming off a multiple year layoff. Of course, he's going to want that fight right away because he sees that as easy pickings. And when he took the Fury fight, he thought it was going to be easy work. He went in swinging wild, looking for one big shot. But unfortunately, that shot never came. He was never able to stop Tyson Fury. He was never able to put him down and keep him down. A knockdown is not a knockout. That's the problem. And what happens when you can't knock a guy out? You have to understand that Deontay Wilder is angling for any other fight but Anthony Joshua. And once Anthony Joshua has no no other fight to be made or has no time left and he has to get the deal done with Wilder and Wilder refuses yet again Anthony Joshua is going to have no choice but to fight a Dillian White and when he goes in to fight a Dillian White what happens next Deontay Wilder is going to announce his fight and he's going to basically say hey you know I couldn't get the fight done. AJ's causing all these problems the problem with Deontay Wilder is he doesn't know his role Deontay Wilder is not the A side He's not the A-side. Anthony Joshua was the A-side. Deontay Wilder has never unified belts. Anthony Joshua's unified belts. Anthony Joshua is fighting top-level opposition each and every time out. His resume is not even close to Deontay Wilder's because it's so far ahead. Luis Ortiz is not on the same level as half of the guys on Anthony Joshua's resume. You know, people feel like Luis Ortiz could probably beat those guys. Well, that's that's your opinion. But at the end of the day, these guys have actual accomplishment in the boxing world. Luis Ortiz has never been world champion. He's never stepped up and faced elite level opposition. And when he stepped up and fought Deontay Wilder, he got knocked out. Let's be honest and unbiased about who these guys are and what's going on. You know, Deontay Wilder and all his fanboys are angling for these type of fights. They're angling to face a Dominic Brazil. And I believe if they end up facing a Dominic Brazil, then that means they'll fight Fury later in the year and that'll put Anthony Joshua off until 2020. So that's how long this could all play out. And so then Anthony Joshua would have to take a second fight. And that second fight would either be against Big Baby Miller or Luis Ortiz. You know, a lot of people coming out here with this biased narrative stating that Anthony Joshua was, was you know, ducking Luis Ortiz or whatever. Let's clear this up right now. Luis Ortiz... There's no benefit to fighting Luis Ortiz, and this is why. Luis Ortiz is not a world champion. Luis Ortiz has never been a huge financial draw. So why would you fight Luis Ortiz? They say, well, he was AJ's mandatory. Well, let's break that down. You have to understand that Luis Ortiz had a golden opportunity to face Anthony Joshua. He chose to walk away and fight Deontay Wilder. He chose that. Anthony Joshua didn't choose that. He chose that. You know, you got to stop with the fanboy shit. 
you got to be unbiased and honest about this. Luis Ortiz didn't want to fight Anthony Joshua right away. He chose what he thought would be an easier opponent in Deontay Wilder, and he got stopped. It's really as simple as that. Anthony Joshua could have easily taken that fight, and I believe Anthony Joshua stops Luis Ortiz in five rounds. If you want to be honest and unbiased, I think his boxing ability, his skill set, and his power will overwhelm an older, bigger, slower Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, in my opinion, gave Wilder one of the fights of his life. But the reason why Luis Ortiz is pumped up so much is because all of Deontay Wilder's fanboys was like, wow, look at the type of fight he gave Deontay Wilder. If you really look at Deontay Wilder's fights, Anybody with a little bit of power can do that to Wilder. Wilder's consistently outboxing almost every one of his fights. He just gets the stoppage at the end. So the, the Luis Ortiz fight was almost no difference. In some ways, you could say Luis Ortiz was robbed of that fight because they kept giving Deontay Wilder extra time because Luis Ortiz was hitting the back of the head. Let's be honest and unbiased about all of this. But once again, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.